Hi, I'm Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Today we're going to talk a little bit about modifying sheet formats to add a path for your part file or your assembly file. Sometimes those are quite lengthy, so we're going to run it right up the margin of the page of your sheet. Okay? So let's see what happens here. So what we need is a view of a part in here, so we can use that to link to so uh, to get our automatic link and then we can delete that out and save our sheet format <clears throat> so I've got another part file open here someplace I'll just uh, tile my windows <clears throat> and I'll just grab that and drag it in and drop it a lot of different ways we can bring in a, a new view just say okay and that gives me the isometric view that's all I really need just a single view here nothing else <clears throat> now I want to edit the sheet format so, sort of like the old days of draw, drawing boards and T-squares and triangles, uh, we'd have multiple layers of uh, paper and vellum, um, and the views would be on the top layer. So, if I edit the sheet format, it's like turning back the top page, so all the views disappear. So, I have a confirmation corner up here in the upper right that I can exit and go back to my edit sheet, or I can right-click and go back to edit sheet. <clears throat> But for right now, what I want to do is add a note. So I can either right mouse button and pick note, or annotations note, or I can go up to the annotations toolbar here and pick note. Just drop it off anywhere. Don't care where. Uh, just anywhere will do for the moment. And move that around and get it where I want it. Now, what I want to do is I want to link this note to a property. And that would be the file uh, path. Um, so over here in the property manager pick link to property the model and the view specified in sheet properties and then folder name there we go perfect so you can see we got a folder name in here <clears throat> now what I want to do is I want to turn this vertical okay so if I come over here and double click and make that 90 it says creating a note on an angle other than zero clears the use documents font checkbox well that's this actually usually you've got to do it yourself uh, now if you notice it didn't go that's because I haven't dropped the, the note off oh drat I should have done that uh, so now I can uh, change this the way I want to type in 90 hit enter same message comes up say okay this time I can uncheck use document font and I can just drag this down here and put it where I want it because this is a pretty long file uh, path okay this is one of our training files so it's nested in several folders deep so and this is not unusual for a lot of companies so running it along the side of the page is really a kind of a handy thing so when I get this where I want it now I can just exit out of my sheet format and go back to edit sheet my picture comes back of my part. Well, I don't need that anymore. I can just uh, delete that. Honk and wave. See ya. <clears throat> and click rebuild. So that goes away. Now, I want to save my sheet format. So I want to go to the file menu because save sheet format is right here. It is not, is not, is not under the save as or save. It's under sheet, save sheet format in the file menu. Okay, it goes right to where my sheet formats are kept, and I want to call this um, my uh, file path a landscape sheet format. Okay, so I'll give this a meaningful name uh, and be fairly uh, wordy with that. Save that, and then I can use this anytime I want. So what I'm going to do here uh, is I'm going to open up something else that's already finished and substitute that uh, sheet format. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick um, a drawing that's already done of that same bracket actually. Just double click on that, open that up. So there we go. So what I want to do now is um, this, this will change the sheet size. This is a B. I'm going to change it to an A. Uh, and change so it'll it'll change everything here so just to show you how this works here just go to properties and pick my um, now you want to make sure that only show standard format is unchecked 
so that you can see these formats, you know, when they come up. Um, so file path, a landscape, okay, and it puts it right in here, and I can change all my uh, sheet views and things. Uh, instead of a one to one, let's make that like a one to three, um, and then uh, these will all then be where I want them to be. Et cetera, et cetera. And you can see my file path comes in here automatically. Very nice and neat and clean. So I can use this sheet format anytime I want now. So I would go through and I would do the B size and the C size or whatever size uh, templates that we use um, and make those things work in all those different ones. Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer, I hope you're having a great day and happy sheet formats to you.